Today I'm going to show you some basic guidelines for homogenizing samples in the Bullet Blender 5 homogenizer. This unit homogenizes samples in 5 milliliter self-standing screw cap tubes. The Bullet Blender 5 can be used for the homogenization of tissue samples up to 1 gram in size and the homogenization of cell pellets up to 750 microliters in volume. When preparing tissue samples for homogenization in the Bullet Blender 5, cut them into long thin strips. This shape will homogenize more efficiently than square or round shapes. If your entire sample is less than one gram, there's no need to cut it. You can place the whole sample inside of the tube. First, place the sample in the bottom of the tube. Don't stuff it down there because you want the tissue to be able to move around inside. Second, add beads to the sample. To find out what type of beads we recommend for your sample type, Check out the protocols on our website, www.nextadvance.com. We recommend using a volume of beads that is close to the volume of your sample. If you would like to add beads by mass instead of volume, the protocols on our website, www.nextadvance.com, will give you more specific information. Finally, add the reagent or buffer that you would like to homogenize your samples in. We recommend using a volume of buffer equal to twice the volume of beads that you use. This is very important. Make sure that your caps are closed very tightly before homogenization. Place them evenly spaced inside of the bullet blender. I have six samples loaded. I'm going to set the speed to eight and the time to three minutes. Close the lid and press start. Examine your samples. If you see unhomogenized pieces, place them back in the bullet blender and homogenize for another minute or two at speed 10. Now it's time to proceed with your downstream application.